Virgo, what's popping? It's your girl D here. I hope all is well with you guys. All right. And that you're doing fine and, you know, everything is going your way. We are in uh, cancer season, so shout out your cancer. Say happy birthday to them. Look at where cancer is in your chart. We got a couple planets there. All right, we got a lot of planets in retrograde. It's the summertime. That's what goes down. So we're going to see how these energies are affecting you, Virgo. All right. Messages from our Virgos. Let me get one more in. Virgo. There we go. Let's see what's up with you. Messages for Virgo. Ten of Cups came out first. Eight of Coins. Ace of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands sideways. And then the Page of Wands. Okay, so Ten of Cups in reverse. So those of you who like to see the cards. Um, so Ten of Cup is a Piscean energy. Then we have the Eight of Coin. Uh, that's your energy. Ace of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sag. Queen of Wands. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. And then um, Page of Wands. Okay, which is uh, Aries. Okay, so we got a significant amount of fire here, all right? With the Ten of Cup energy in reverse, this is about uh, maybe a family dynamic that's uh, not happy. This could be a relationship that you're not happy with or whatever type of community you're in, you know, whether this is with your friends, your family. There's some um, trouble in paradise here, okay? The challenge is, is somebody trying to uh, uh, get something to work or maybe somebody's trying to find a job. So maybe your relationship situation, um, you could be somebody who's like, yo, I'm not trying to be in a relationship until I've got some money coming in. You could be, it could be that. Uh, this could also just be, like I said, um, a family dynamic, something's going on, maybe the, the family issues or a ro romantic issue or uh, something going on with the group or organization you're in. And it could be because of uh, somebody working a lot. Okay, so maybe somebody doesn't have time for a relationship. They don't have time for their friends. They don't have time for family time like they want because they're working a lot. All right. Uh, but I feel like what your higher self is telling you here is, um, you know, you're, you're not trying to be rejected. So, again, I feel like somebody's like, yo, I'm not, you know, maybe somebody doesn't want a relationship because they see your financial situation and they're like, yo, you need to come up. Or maybe you're just on some, yo, I need to get my financial situation right before I do anything. Where your head is at is the queen of wand energy. You could be bored or frustrated. Okay. Uh, but I feel like you may be, uh, somebody might be connecting with you or you may be um, in touch with somebody who may uh, spark your curiosity. So maybe you're feeling ill-prepared. That's what I'm just getting off the top, okay? is either um, a family situation here where you're working a lot, you and your partner are not being intimate, um, or maybe it's like the, the, the spark is gone in the connection and you're trying to figure out how to uh, reinvigorate it, okay? But let's see. Let's get some clarity. One more. There we go. All right. Tell me about this Ten of Cups in reverse for Virgo. I'm going to take this one that came out first. Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so something is being revealed. In reference to um, some type of um, something that somebody might have been hiding or keeping to themselves. Um, in reference to this love dynamic, this friendship dynamic, this family dynamic, or this uh, uh, just you being happy with yourself type of thing. The challenges is the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be something that you're focused on or you're working on. Yeah, temperance. You're trying to bring balance to a situation. So you're working to try to make things balanced out. So again, this could be somebody who just doesn't have time with their family because they work in too much um, or somebody who um, isn't putting their, you know, uh, that romantic flame back into the relationship here. They're trying to figure out how to work it out. It's the Ace of Wands in reverse. So somebody could be being rejected. Um, 
but this could be you as a soul like I said as a solo person like yo I'm trying to get my priorities in order first thing first I need a job before I could start thinking about dating or you know being in a romantic connection I need my st I need stability first so you're rejecting that okay or your partner could be rejecting you because maybe you're not making no money or the the spice is going in the relationship here we go with the two of cup energy in reverse I can't make it up ace of one in reverse two of cup in reverse the spice is gone or some, again, somebody's like, yo, I'm not trying to be in, intimate with you until you get your money right. Or you're like, yo, I'm not trying to be intimate with nobody until I get my money straight. I'm not in, I'm not in a position to be in a relationship. Somebody could be telling you that. What's this queen of wand energy in reverse? Somebody could be bored, halfway bored. You know, you may want it, but it's boring. Talk to me about this. Okay, the ace, I'm sorry, the star energy in reverse. Yeah, this is not what you wanted. Some of you could just be the options you got right now. You're not interested in them. It's like, look, I need better options. The people I'm dealing with or the people I was dealing with or the relationship I was in, it wasn't what I wanted. So next time, what I want is this. Um, is that type of thing is what I'm getting here. It's the page of wands. So there could be somebody new coming around or you could be, you know, reinvigorating your spark, getting your spark back. Maybe the people you were with or dealing with um, just wasn't your, your type is what I'm getting here. Ooh. Okay, that turned over, so I'm going to take it. And this was the Queen of Swords. So there's some type of communication could be coming in for sure. Um, in reference to, um, or maybe, you know, you know that, that somebody's interested, but you're just trying to keep it, you know, professional. So this could be somebody maybe you work with, okay? Because um, with this Eight of Pentacle here, that could be somebody you work with. And maybe you don't, you don't shit where you eat type of thing. Uh, or maybe you're not interested in that. And, you know, maybe somebody's coming on to you and you're letting them know, look, you know, I'm not doing that. You could be in a relationship and marry, and it could be somebody who um, you're thinking about. Okay, this could be another situation. You're thinking about this person. Um, you're trying to keep cool about it, but, you know, um, you really are attracted to this person. But I feel like for some of y'all, y'all married to someone else. Okay, or you're already involved. So there could be somebody else that you're attracted to here. And where your head is at is, um, you know, this could be somebody who you consider a friend or someone who's in your friend circle. Okay, it could be somebody you work with or it could just be somebody in the friend circle. Okay, uh, a fake friend, somebody pretending to be your friend because they're interested in trying to get with you. All right, but let's get clarity on these major arcanas here. Tell me about temperance. Somebody trying to bring balance to a situation, trying to be wise about how they do things. They're really thinking about this because they want to make the right decision here. They want to be balanced. They know from experience certain shit don't work. Yeah, here we go with the Saturn energy. Learning from the experiences. Uh, karma. Karmic. Okay, energy here. So for some of you, you're in this situation and it is a karmic situation and you're supposed to bring balance to it. What's this Aquarius energy in reverse? This is something that um, somebody's hopes and dreams... Okay, here's the Knight of Cup energy in reverse. Okay, so with this Queen of Wands to the side, you could be bored with uh, a friendship. You bored with being friends with somebody. Okay, this is somebody who's trying to be a friend to you or this is you having feelings about somebody and realizing that, um, hmm, it would be unrequited is what I'm feeling here. You wouldn't get what you wanted or you wouldn't be able to give this person what they wanted here. This, this person is not who you want. This is not your ideal relationship or your ideal person. Or this situation is not ideal for you. Whoever you were with. If you were with someone and you stepped away from them. If this is somebody at work, it's the same thing. It's like, yo, you know, I'm already with somebody. This is going to be unrequited or you're already with somebody. I'm just getting the energy of somebody's already with somebody else and they wouldn't be able to do anything but friends with benefits. And that's it. If somebody's already in that situation and they've decided to leave it, that could be what's going on as well. But it could be somebody they work with. Yeah, Eight of Wands energy in reverse here. This is somebody who um, 
they're slow to end it. Like somebody could be in a situation and they know it's not right. They know it's not. And they, you know, want to cut it off because this is what this could be as well. So somebody saying, hey, I want to talk to you. And with the Queen of Swords, like, we're going to have to, you know, end this. And it's like, you can't be friends with this person. It's like, we can't be friends type of thing. We got to, you know. So that could be what's going on here is what I'm feeling here. So again, somebody may not be interested in being intimate with somebody because it's, it's like, you know what? I don't want this anymore, right? We have that clarified with the four of pentacles, that temperance energy of the four of pentacles. Somebody is saying, yo, I don't want this anymore. I don't. The ace of wands energy in reverse, the two of cups. This is a friends with benefits situation and somebody's not interested in it anymore or they don't want it. Yeah, ten of wands in reverse. They're tired of it. Yeah, so somebody will be happy once, like, look, let's just be cool. Let's just be friends. Could, somebody could find out somebody's pregnant as well. So there could be a pregnancy issue going on here. So somebody could be upset because they don't want to be in a, uh, somebody may have slept with somebody that they don't want uh, anything more than just friends with benefits with. But this person is pregnant now. So it's like, oh, shit. Yeah, here we go. Five of Wands with the sun energy. So this person um, could have uh, other people that they was dealing with. Or it's like, yo, this person is telling me they're pregnant. Now this is a damper on my parade. Or someone was dealing, this could be a woman who was sleeping with a couple of different dudes. And they don't, she doesn't know who the father of the, uh, the child is. She may not know. Yeah, because this was a... Uh, this was a quick situation. So this could have been like a one night stand or just a friends with benefit type of situation here. And the thing is, is somebody's pregnant. Somebody's definitely pregnant. Um, and the thing is, is that, like I said, this was something that was just supposed to be a, a friends with benefits type of thing. It wasn't supposed to be nothing serious. So if it's not a pregnancy that somebody was dealing with somebody, it was it started off as just cool type of thing, nothing, nothing uh, stable. Uh, somebody is now wanting a relationship. So there's a couple different scenarios going on here. Okay. Somebody may have slept with somebody's friend. Is what I'm also seeing. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I think I want one more. There we go. So this is when I was like, yeah, see? Here we go with the secret lover. Secret love. And this is what this is with the Ten of Cup energy in reverse and the Seven of Swords reverse. The secret love being revealed. Or, you know, um, somebody wants to, like, yo, I don't want to be a secret no more. And this is what they're saying here. Like, hey, I got something I want to tell you. The truth is, I want to be seen with you, okay? I, I don't care about the competition. I want to be the one. I want to be, you know what I'm saying? That's what somebody's doing. There's a hot nerd here, okay? So this could be somebody uh, very smart, very intelligent, and there could be sapiosexual energy here. Or you could just be somebody who's like, yo, I'm interested in, yeah, you could just be somebody who's like the people that I was dealing with. They just, you know, one night stands. I'm not interested in them. They're, they're not intelligent. You know, they're halfway attractive because they're not really too intelligent. You know what I mean? So it's just for fun. I need somebody who stimulates my mental, you know, like a sapiosexual. You could be a sapiosexual type of energy, meaning that you're attracted to people who are intelligent. And um, you got all these people competing for you, but ain't none of them doing nothing for you because ain't none of them got no brain. It's how you seeing it. Or they're not intelligent. Here go player energy. So, yeah, with this uh, sun energy and this five of wands, this is definitely somebody who is not interested in anything serious. They just want to have fun. Yeah, and past life. So, yeah, this is a karmic situation here. I was going to say that, but I just wanted to, um, I don't know, something else came to me before I said it. But, yeah, I wanted to go back to that. This is karmic, okay, with the temperance. You're supposed to bring balance to the situation and protect yourself from these, these situation or these people. So whatever the situation that you're in, it is karmic, which is why it's hard for you to get out of it. It could be very difficult for you to um, accept the fact that it's like, well, why am I attracted to this person? Why can't I fight this? Um, and it's because it's a karmic lesson for you.
somebody could also be upset. They could, okay, there could be somebody who's married or in a relationship and they got a secret crush on someone and they could be upset because the crush is not crushing back. And they're wondering if the crush now has, because uh, uh, I feel like this person has been communicating, but they're not anymore with the Eight of Wands energy in reverse, Ten of Cups energy. It's like, yeah, you was communicating with me, but now you're not anymore. There's a forgive. There's an energy of forgiveness here. So with the uh, Knight of Cup energy in reverse here, there could be someone who um, may want an apology. They could have been friends with this person. They may want an apology. Somebody may have slept with somebody's friend. That could be a, a, also what's going on here. Speaking of friends, okay, so. That's for sure. And somebody wants a second chance. So uh, somebody may have messed up and they feel like, damn, I was wrong. I'm, I'm looking at it. I want to make amends. Uh, but this person is defensive towards me. They, they're distancing themselves towards me. They don't want to be with me anymore. Um, and now, you, you know, somebody's like, yo, I want to apologize. So somebody could be wanting to apologize for you for playing, uh, you know, secret lover games and, and things like that behind your back. Okay, I don't know if this is somebody you are in a relationship with or if there's a third there's a third party situation here because there's something secret. Now, if the three of swords didn't have to come out, but I was definitely picking that up here. Okay, but there's definitely multiple people here with the sun and the five of wands and somebody knows that. Okay, somebody sensed that they know that they know that this person has options as well. All right. So this is what I got going on for you, Virgo. I hope you got something out of this, and I'll see you guys in the next reading.